welcome back to my channel or if this is your first time here hi welcome to whatever this is today I am going to be showing you how to go from this to this ew to meh you, yeah you get the point I'm just gonna be showing what I do when I'm going all out and really putting on makeup and stuff I just woke up so I'm not super awake and I just realized that I didn't fix my eyebrows before <laughs> before starting the film so I'll have to do that as well but yeah we're gonna do that and then can't listen to real music real music you know you know what I mean so we're gonna listen to youtuber music instead we're gonna listen to Danny Gonzalez first and I might end up doing um I might just end up doing a uh I might just end up doing a voiceover instead. Just depends on how much I blather on. But yeah, first step is to get rid of my glasses. There we go. Normally I'd watch videos, YouTube videos, but my Wi-Fi is down for some reason. So no can do. Alright, most of the stuff that I use, I get from the dollar store. So, like primer, starting with that. For everywhere except for my nose, and on my nose, I use baby skin. I'm gonna have to turn on my curling iron too and normally I would do that right now but I have the smallest counter space available to man so I don't fucking have room to do that <laughs> so instead I just have to wait until the end this little cottage thing that I live in is uh, what supposedly was built for the, one of the previous owner's two sons, which I find that hard to believe because this is a small, small ass cottage. I don't know how that would work, but, oh fuck, I forgot I gotta fix my eyebrows. Get it off for who it's for, aka me. So then, before you try and say anything, I have allergies, okay? Not Kobe, even if I did. Not like I go anywhere anyway. <laughs> All right. Now my this is the one thing that's definitely not dollar store. <laughs> and I had a hundred dollar gift card to also at, at one point, so I uh. That's how I ended up with that foundation. If I hadn't had that gift card, I would still be using my Wet n Wild one, I think. What I'm trying to say is I'm cheap. I don't buy high-end anything. And when I do, it's only because I had a gift card. <laughs> if it's somebody else's money, I'm more than happy to spend it. <laughs> God, allergies in Florida right now are so bad. Maybe it's that way everywhere, but I, before I moved out here, I never had allergies so bad. Now I have to do, now I deal with them like all day, all day, all year. <laughs> I really wish I had a good foundation brush. This is so tiring. Well, it could definitely be my fault. Maybe I, because this is an actual beauty blender. I don't think, is it? <laughs> Either way, I'm fucking tired. My arm's like... <laughs> That's what I get for being a fat fuck. Okay. Alright, so... 
Next thing I got from Ulta, I'm probably going to be able to tell what I got from Ulta and what I get from the dollar store. <laughs> I don't know why I'm bothering to tell you. But yeah, and then I get this. And obviously, as you can see, my dark circles are still coming through. My discoloration is still coming through. <sighs> because I'm just eternally tired. Like a vampire when my wheel is sexy. Okay. About as good as it's gonna get, so. <laughs> then I take, um, airspun powder. And now you're supposed to only, like, use this to, like, bake or whatever, but. I put it all over my face. Because I have, um, a very oily face, specifically around my T-zone, like my forehead and my nose. So anything I can do to keep my forehead and my um, nose getting oily and gross, I will try. Yeah, here's the foundation I usually use. I used to, I was going to try and use this to contour and I tried, but it just didn't really fucking work. So I just go back to, I'll show you what I use. Um, so then after I let this sit for a little bit, I'm too, I don't want to let it sit there forever. Like, as long as I probably should, then I go with the stay matte, you can't read that, Rimmel London stay matte, the little kabuki brush. And then I wipe that old powder off, but put the new stuff on. So I'm taking off the bake, quote unquote bake, and I'm putting on the new powder. And people probably say you're using too much powder, but I could never get my makeup to fucking stay. I don't know if that was the foundation itself or if it was the powder I was using or what it was but I couldn't get it to fucking stay so I just figure if I put more powder on then it'll maybe stay <laughs> could be totally wrong I probably am totally wrong but this is in creamy natural so it adds a little color as well and then I have to fix my eyebrows because I went over them with foundation so I just use this kiss eyebrow kit a thing I think and I use the light brown it is totally fucked up I've had this for years and then I just take the light brown and I put put it over my eyebrows and just do that so then my so then I can undo the um undo the damage I did with foundation God. makeup is so messy dude I'm So then next I'll <sighs> bronzing. I have the LA Colors Shimmer Bronzer Radiant. This was literally, I think this is like the only thing the dollar store had. This was on the floor by the way, so we love that. Now let me to just reiterate, I don't know makeup, so I'm probably doing this totally wrong and people are like probably s screaming at me. Hey, what the fuck you doing? That's not how you do it. I'm just doing my best, okay? I watch... <clears throat> I watch makeup tutorials too, and I still literally just don't fucking get it. Like, I'm obsessed with Carly Bible. And yet, I still can't do fucking makeup, so... <sighs> says a lot about me, I think. <laughs> But I'm trying. <laughs> I just want to look pretty. <laughs> I just want to look freaking fuckable. <clears throat> no, sorry. I don't know why my brain automatically goes in that direction always. My mind is just perpetually in the gutter. And I don't know what to do about it. Embrace it, maybe. 
Might as well embrace it. So that doesn't look too bad, right? I really wish I was going to the beach today. I miss, I uh, live in Florida, I should be going to the beach every damn day. And then, yeah, this brush set is another one I, oh, fuck. I would never have if it wasn't for that Ulta gift card. <laughs> so then I just have this clearance blush that I got at Meyer years ago, literally for a dollar ninety-nine. Really wish my Wi-Fi was working. I could watch YouTube video. I could watch videos instead of just listening to music. Although I do, I mean, I love listening to music. I'm quite obsessed actually, but. It's just not the same. Alright, now... I tried getting, like I said, I tried getting that cream contour, but I just couldn't figure it out. So I have my Wet n Wild Contour Palette. Again, had for years. <laughs> Ugh. And this brush. It brushes by Ulta. Oh, they've got a pretty little thingy on there. That's nice. Considering it was really fucking expensive. I still have no idea what contour is best for my nose. I just do what Carly Bible does. <laughs> so, you know, probably doing it completely wrong for my face. But, you know, whatever. Again, just trying to wing it here. As I do with pretty much everything else in my life. Which really probably shows in the rest of my life too. <laughs> but I just never used to do contouring and I was like, I wanna try. Probably shouldn't have bothered. But I had this palette and obviously I used the light a lot, but that was just to put under my eyes to try and lighten them up because again, eternally tired. <laughs> Eternally tired and always look at and my under eyes are always discolored. No. Oh, that's whatever. Got my girl Amber Shoals 24. Oh, this is just gold dust. I was talking about, I have her eyeshadow palette too, so I gotta mix them. This is so fucking annoying. God. Having this fucking makeup brush. Makeup brush. Makeup bag. I almost always use this after hours. Pretty, pretty. So I got, if anyone watched my, um, wearing eyeliner, or, um, fake lashes for the first time, then you saw that my eyeliner was literally just a crayon, or whatever that was, went to the dollar store and got actual liner. Still, <laughs> we're gonna wing it like I do every single time, because I'm still not even somewhat good at eyeliner. Yeah. Eyeliner definitely still scares me, but it look my lashes look so much better when when I have them on or when I have eyeliner on. So <laughs> eyeliner scares me. Oh god. Okay, we're going to do it left-handed. This is always the one that really goes wrong. Fake it goes wrong. Okay. Okay. I think I managed to not fuck that up totally. Okay. My mascara. This I got in that Allure Beauty Box. They're real by Benefit. They're okay. I don't really have. I don't really love the, the mascara all that much. 
I have an obsession with really big lashes, so anything less than that is not good enough for me. <clears throat> I am a picky woman. Then my favorite is the Alme Multi Benefit. Actually, I, as you can see, I have a different color. It has a different color um, brush, wand thing. And that is because they have discontinued, I guess, the actual one I liked, which is why I kept the wand and just got more formula in a different container. I don't know why they do that. Like their product, they have product that works great, but then they just discontinue it. Like, cool, thanks. Well, speaking of that, I went to uh, Subway the other day, and I always, always get the rotisserie style chicken footlong with spinach, um, onions, mild banana peppers, and I get through, it's on their menu, so I get done I say that that's what I want. I want the rotisserie style foot long. And they say, oh, we don't have that anymore actually. Is it on the menu still? And I was like, yeah, it's on the menu twice. What the fuck are you talking about? So then, <laughs> that's literally all I ever got except for like the mozzarella pizza one. And I like never got that one anymore. So I'm like standing there trying to figure out what the hell to get because I never, I rarely get, get any sort of fast food anyway. I don't, I don't know if Subway's considered fast food, I'm assuming it is. So I'm just standing there like, I don't know what to get. I always get the same thing and I can't get that. So it took me a while, but I eventually got the steak and cheese. That was pretty good too, so. I don't know, I guess I'll just have to get that for now. And I guess that's what I get for going to a subway in a small town, very small town. Honestly, just lucky that we have, just lucky that we have subway there, <laughs> here, I mean. Now that my makeup is all cleared away, I just have my lashes to put on, which I'm gonna do off camera, because that's gonna take me forever. I'm still very bad at that. I'm gonna plug in my curling iron, because I'm gonna give myself some volume. Just don't have enough space to do anything in here. We're gonna go back to my favorite lady ones. I think these are Kiss brand. I can't remember. And this fucking glue that I got eyeline stick with me. It's so bubbly. Look at that. It bubbles every single time. And it makes it really hard. Get. <sighs> to not get glue on anything but the band. And it is very frustrating. Alright, well, that took fucking forever. <laughs> I'm still. And these look like two different lashes, don't they? But they're the same. Let's see. I wonder how long I'll be able to wear them today. Anyway, then I finish off with um, Wet n Wild Natural Finish Setting Spray. Woo! Um, and I would put on lip stuff, but all I have is like Taylor Swift Red and not brave enough to try that, so just gonna use chapstick instead. <laughs> the basic bitch. Get it all dry. Alright. Already looking much better. But now I'm gonna um curl my hair. I already have a video on this if you care to watch it. It's really not that interesting. 
Oh yeah, the makeup's all done. Alright, I look much better, don't I? You're probably like, eh. The little better. It's only so much you can polish a turd, you know what I'm saying? Just how to unfuckify your face is basically what this tutorial is. <laughs> tutorial. <laughs> I am no beauty guru, as I'm sure you can tell. I'm just a regular Jane trying to look decent. <laughs> oh, fuck. You hear that? Goddamn knees. Ow. It'll never get, I'll never be able to get my hair to look like the hairstylist got it. It looks so beautiful. It'll never look the same. Which really sucks because it was so cute. Just, 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 I don't know, curl or do something. How are you all doing? I actually, um, kind of applied for a job yesterday. Hope, I'm hoping to hear from them because they're literally like 10 minutes away from where I live, which is hard in my small town to find a place to work that's so close. Most of the job opportunities are of course in the bigger towns that are like half an hour away. And I would just rather not have to go that far. Which I know is probably not far at all compared to what some commute, the commutes out there. But with, um, the state of things now, I'd just rather not have to go into big cities to work, you know. I don't like big cities to begin with, with how crazy things have been lately. I'd just rather avoid them all together if I can. I'm thinking if I can get a job, get out, start being around people again, you know, maybe my mood will, my moods will start getting a little better, because I am quite, I'm very much an, um, uh, introvert, but I still, you know, require some social interaction <laughs> that isn't with my guinea pigs, although I do love them. It's, it's whatever. It's not like I'm trying to impress anyone. Here we go. Hello. And that's the finished product, so only a million steps. <laughs> I think it looks pretty good, pretty decent, I should say. The eyelashes are definitely a big part of it, but I'm still quite new at wearing eyelashes, so who knows how long I'll be able to keep them on. My family, when you go to visit, it ends up being an all-day thing, so. There you go. Well, good enough for who it's for. You know, it's not going to get any better than that, so. Uh, let me know what you think below. I hope you're doing well. I know things are still pretty crazy, but hopefully we're getting around the bend and it's going to be a lot better on the other side, so. Fingers crossed. But thank you for watching, and I hope to see you on the next one. Bye!